All right, good morning, guys. Um, today we're going to start talking about work. So in the background you can see what's called the Rube Goldberg machine. And it converts all sorts of types of energy into moving energy and back to mechanical energy and back to potential energy and all sorts of things that we're going to start discussing. So uh, we're going to start off with the concept of work. So here's your definition. Many of the terms you have encountered so far in this book have meaning in physics that are similar to the meanings in everyday life. In every sense, the term work means to do something that takes physical or mental effort. But in physics, work has distinctly different meaning, considering the following situations. A student holds a heavy chair at arm's length for several minutes. A student carries a bucket of water along a horizontal path while walking at a constant velocity. It might surprise you to know that as the term work is used in physics, there is no work done on the chair or the bucket even though effort is required in both cases. We will return to these examples later. Work is done on an object when a force causes a displacement of the object. So because the uh, heavy chair didn't change height, you didn't do work. Uh, the force has to be in the direction of the displacement. Same thing here, a student carries a bucket of water along a horizontal path while walking at a constant velocity. Uh, when you pick these things up, you do work. But as you keep them at the same height off the ground, uh, because your effort is overcoming gravity, which is vertical, and you are moving in the horizontal direction, there is no work done technically because uh, the force has to be in the direction of the displacement. So here is our, uh, our equation that we're going to be using here. Uh, the net work done by a constant net force, W, is equal to the force that's exerted times the distance and then times the cosine of theta. And the cosine of theta is between uh, the, the, the force and the displacement, D. So it's that component that is parallel to the distance. So. First example, we'll look at how much work is done on a vacuum cleaner pulled 3 meters by a force of 50 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. So um, it's not going to be all of the 50 newtons that is being pulled at a 30 degrees. It's actually just going to be the horizontal component of the, of the 50 newtons. Um, the displacement of 3 meters stands. So uh, when we look at the force of 50 newtons, uh, we are going to have some fraction of that 50 newtons that actually does work. The other is doing work against gravity, but that's not the direction we're going. So uh, what we need to do is uh, just obtain the cosine of 30 degrees because as you set that up, uh, your angle of 30 degrees is between the floor and your force. And so the adjacent component of that force is indeed the cosine. So the cosine of 30 degrees. Uh, don't forget to put your calculators in degree mode. All right, so here are the uh, four problems that I would like you guys to complete by the end of the period. Uh, each student needs to turn in their own work. Uh, and if you turn it in by the end of the period tomorrow, that's okay too. But uh, I think you should have enough time to do these in class. Thank you very much.